KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is from Monday, August 27th. I'm James Spann, obviously on the road today in St. Louis at the National Weather Association annual meeting. For Alabama, hot, mostly dry today, but rain chances will be increasing later this week. Let's take a look at things. Here's the upper air look across the country this morning. An upper high right on top of us. And obviously that makes for a pretty stable air mass. So we'll expect low 90s, lots of sun, hardly any showers today, but a cold trough back in the northwestern states. And check this out. This is the watch warning map. First snow of the season likely for parts of Montana and Wyoming where winter weather advisories are in effect. The areas there in purple. But to the east, we have heat advisories for parts of the Midwest and the northeast United States. Things are quiet down here. Severe storms up north. Standard slight risk of severe weather for places like Minneapolis, St. Paul, uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin. And down here, we're in the green, and there might be a pop-up storm somewhere, but probably not many. Tomorrow, the risk of severe storms stretches from Kansas City up to Chicago and Grand Rapids. And on day three, a marginal risk along a surface front north of the state. And again, we're in the green. That means scattered storms. And they should be increasing by Wednesday as the upper ridge begins to weaken. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Heavier totals for parts of the Midwest and the Great Lakes. For Alabama, about one inch. And this is valid through Monday morning of next week. And again, after tomorrow, the number of scattered storms should be increasing for a while. And how about this? The tropics just remarkably quiet. We note a wave coming off the coast of Africa, but development just not going to happen because of dry air and cool water. So model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run valid, or the 06Z run valid this afternoon at 1 o'clock. And again, this is at 500 millibars. There's that cold trough back in the northwest that will bring the first snowflakes of the season to parts of Montana and Wyoming for the high elevations here in late August, but down here at 594 Heat Ridge. So mostly sunny, hot, humid, only isolated storms this afternoon. Really the same thing tomorrow. Widely scattered afternoon storms. We'll expect highs in the low 90s today and tomorrow. But Wednesday, the ridge begins to break down, so there should be a marked increase in scattered showers and storms. Partly sunny with a high close to 90. Thursday, looking a little unsettled with scattered to numerous showers and storms, especially during the afternoon and evening hours, and the same thing on Friday. And we could see highs dipping back into the upper 80s on those days. And the sun will be out at times, but again, a pretty decent chance of afternoon and evening showers and storms. All right, weekend fans, looks pretty typical for the end of summer, the beginning of uh, September. This, by the way, is September 1st, the first day of meteorological fall. And trust me, it doesn't magically turn cool on that day. We all know we can have very hot weather in September. Uh, Saturday looks like a partly sunny day with scattered afternoon and evening storms. Highs around 90 and the same thing on Sunday. Chance of any one spot getting wet over the weekend, about 50-50 both days with highs, I'd say, 87 to 90. Here's a week from today, Monday, September 3rd. Again, ridging here. Same thing, partly sunny, the chance of a few scattered storms during the afternoon. Let's go out 10 days, Wednesday of next week, September 5th, 594 Heat Ridge, a little north of us, and again, that looks relatively quiet. Here are the numbers coming off the uh, National Weather Service best blend of models. This is suggesting mostly low 90s for a while, maybe upper 80s by the middle of next week. Here's the CPC outlook for September 3rd through the 9th, suggesting temperatures could be a little above average around here during that time. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. We're on a uh, travel schedule, so one video per day today and tomorrow, back to two a days on Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.